Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm crafting with Timu products. Timu are sponsoring this video and they asked me to choose some products to craft with. If you click the link in the description box below, you can download the Timu app and get $100 worth of coupons for free. And you can use my code, which is on the screen. It'll also be in the description box. The first product I'm going to use is this set of six paint brushes and they were $2.98. As you can see, you get six different sizes. These were actually really soft when you touch them and they were nice to paint with. And I'm using one to brush on some Mod Podge on this 8x8 frame, which was from Amazon. I'm sure you could probably get ones like this from Timu, but this is one that I already had. So I wanted to get right in the corners, so I was using this wee brush. I'm using Mod Podge for this DIY. I know you can get special glues and stuff, but it worked fine for me. I just painted it on the inside to start with, and then I did end up doing the frame of the canvas as well later on. So I don't want to let that dry. I want it to be tacky. And I'm going to use this gold leaf, and you get 100 sheets, and it was 2 dollars I've never used gold leaf before, so I can't compare it, but I was excited to use it. So the Mod Podge wasn't drying fast enough, so I did give it a blast with the heat gun. I don't know if I should have just left it wet or not. You guys can tell me in the comments. <laughs> I've seen so many people use this, but then... So I just started taking the sheets and laying them on the Mod Podge. I think uh, we'll have to do another DIY with this and maybe I will do a better job next time because they make it look so easy on TV. So I just keep kept putting the sheets on and filling in all the spaces and I do like how it kind of just melts together into itself. And then I'm going to use this set of 10 paintbrushes. They were 158 and they come in various colours. I picked some green ones. So I'm just going to use one of them to brush down the gold leaf. So I only show you me doing this inside bit, but then I decided to do the whole frame off camera. But if you're going to use this, then definitely put some paper down to catch all the wee pieces of the gold leaf that fly away because they will stick to your silicone mat or anything that they touch so definitely put some paper down and minimize the cleaning afterwards next i'm using one of this set of 10 six by six inch basswood sheets and this scrapbook paper pad now these sheets, they are much bigger than the ones that you get in Dollar Tree, but sometimes you can never find them, so you can get these bigger ones on Timu. And then this paper pad, scrapbook paper pad, is 6x6 six six inches. There's They're only one-sided, but you get two sheets of each, and I decided to use that one. So I'm just going to quickly show you the nice patterns that are on this. see nice colors and patterns just going to quickly go through them that one has some script writing on it that one looks like wood And because these are both 6 by 6 inches, the scrapbook paper fits perfect on top of it. So I've got to use one of my wee Timu brushes that I showed you already. And I am just going to paint some Mod Podge over this wood. And then stick down the piece of scrapbook paper. If 
if you want to, you could just use a glue stick or some hot glue, it's up to you. This set of two brayers was out of stock when I went back to check the price, but I think they were around 5 or $6, and they seemed to work fine. I've never used one before, but it did the job. I just rolled it over and made sure my scrapbook paper was stuck down, and then I got a couple of tower blocks, and I just hot glued them on the frame, and then I glued the wood and scrapbook paper down, and made sure it was centered. And this wee picture hook was from something off something from Dollar Tree. And I just marked where the middle was with a ruler and then just screwed it in. It was a wee bit fiddly because <laughs> it's a tiny wee screw, but I got it in. And this is how it turned out. And I think I need practice with the gold leaf <laughs> and I'll do a better job next time. But you can always add some uh, words like home or something on this or put another picture or something in the middle of it if you wanted to. I just wanted to leave it plain. For this next DIY, I have a 12 by 8 canvas from Amazon. And I'm going to paint the inside of the frame with some plaster chalk paint and I'm using another one of those brushes that I showed you earlier and this is what I got them for so that I could easily paint on the canvases because I use them quite a lot. If you wanted you could stain the wood for this DIY or choose another colour, this is just the colour that I wanted to pick. The next product I'm using is these wooden rings and it says 50 pieces but it was 25 pieces and they come in five different sizes and I just picked the different sizes and put them in this design. You can do something different if you want to. You can always put the smaller ones inside the bigger ones as well and I'm just using some wood glue to glue them down. You could use hot glue if you wanted, but I like to use wood glue whenever I'm using wood. Once I glued them all down, I left them to dry for a wee while. The glue doesn't take that long to set. Off camera, I threaded some twine through uh, 30 beads and here I'm just using some pieces of craft stick and some hot glue to glue the hanger on the back. And I have a succulent from Dollar Tree and it came apart so <laughs> I am just gluing it back together. It's because I cut the stem off the back and then I am just hot gluing it inside the middle ring. This looked nice without the succulent so you could leave it like that if you wanted to but I like to add a bit of greenery and I think this one is my favourite DIY out of this video. For this next DIY, I'm using a hurricane vase from Dollar Tree and I'm using this jute tassel fringe, which was 228. I got two of them and they are 16 feet long. And this is what it looks like. It says it's for making tassels, but you can do so many different things with it. And I also got these rose gold scissors. They were 424 and they are fabric scissors. And this is them here. They did have a plastic cover, but I took it off. <laughs> and uh, they were really sharp and they were quite heavy. So I'm just measuring how much of this fringe that I will need. And then I am just cutting off 
the pieces. I think I did eight at first and then I cut another couple later. So I'm just putting it end to end and then trimming it. And now I am just going to glue it on with some hot glue. I'm just starting at the bottom. And then I put an extra bit on the top of the back because it will come apart since you've cut it. And then I just start at the same spot again, um, halfway up from, well, halfway up the last piece of fringe. And then I just repeat this till I get to the top. I won't show you me doing the whole thing. I just show you another one and then the last one. So this is me just putting the last one up the very top of the glass. And just hot gluing it the same as I did before. And then I got this ribbon, which was 179, and it is three yards long. This is what it looks like. I just cut off the end because it was a bit frayed. And then I'm just going to hot glue it around the top of this vase. So I tried burning it with a lighter like I do with all like the twine and stuff, but <laughs> I don't advise it because I did burn it a wee bit, you'll see at the end. So if you're going to do that, just be very careful. And then I just trimmed off the bottom so that it would sit flat. And then this is just a dog brush from Dollar Tree. I thought I would brush it out a bit and make it fluffier. So that's what I'm doing. I uh, probably would have been better doing it before I glued the top piece on. So I just kept brushing it until I was happy with how it looked. And then I started brushing it the to sideways as well, just to fluff it up some more. Okay, so it's after I fluffed it up, uh, it kind of got a bit burnt. <laughs> so maybe just trim it instead of burning it. And this is how it turned out. And again, just be careful if you want to burn off the wee hairs and not to do it too much like I did. I am using a 4x6 frame from Dollar Tree and I am just trimming off the excess around the inside of the frame because I'm going to use it this way around. And I'm going to use this hemp rope which was $2.11 and it was really long. <laughs> I'm not sure how long exactly and I am just going to glue that around the frame. So I'm just measuring it and cutting it where I need and then I do hot glue the ends so they don't fray and then I just glue it down and I do that for all the sides.
and then I quickly burn off any wee hairs with a lighter. Next I'm using this pack of 15 dried leaves and they come in different sets and they were $2.11. So I'm not going to use them all, I'm just going to pick these leaves and I thought these were really pretty, these leaves, so I'm using them in the picture. And I just have to figure out how I'm going to set them out before I glue them down. And then I do end up trimming off a wee bit just to make them look how I want them to. And then I just hot glue them down. I just put a really small amount of hot glue on. You could probably use Mod Podge or something. I'm just using some twine and a popsicle stick to and some hot glue to make a hanger for the back. And this is how it turned out and I think it turned out really cute. For this next DIY I'm using one of these pack of 12 wood signs and they were 628 and I'm just going to show you the different ones that I got and they are I think are about 6 inches wide and you get 2 of each. You also get a twine hanger for each of them. I decided to use the oval shape. I'm using this Serenity scrapbook paper and it was $3.39. It's also six by six and it's one sided and you get two sheets of each. So I'm just gonna quickly show you some of the pages and they are really pretty. They have some other really pretty scrapbook papers on there, which I definitely am gonna get. That one's nice, it's got butterflies and stuff on it. That one has an owl. Some mushrooms and a poppy. And I really love all the green ones, the green coloured sheets. I'm going to Mod Podge the scrapbook paper onto this wooden sign. I'm just using my Timu brush that I used earlier. Then I'm going to use the other brayer and then I'm going to leave it to dry. This cotton board was out of stock when I went back to check. And then I also got these craft knives and they were 148. So look how beautiful this is. It's perfect for my craft room. And you have to be quick with Timu. If you see something, you gotta get it because stuff goes out of stock quick. So I got two of these exacto knives and they come with extra blades and a metal ruler. And you get different colors. So yeah, if things are out of stock, just check back because they, I think they come in stock again quite quickly. So I'm just using that to cut off the excess 
scrap book paper and then make the holes for the hanger. I also got this leaf ribbon which was three forty nine, and it was massive ball. <laughs> you get a lot of it. And I am just using it to trim my sign and I'm just using hot glue to glue it on. And just be careful you don't burn your fingers. I've seen this on Amazon but it's definitely a lot cheaper on Timu. And I just keep gluing it right at the very edge, all the way around. And when I get to the end, I just trim it off. And then it just joined up nice. Make sure you get rid of any glue strings. And I'm just using some Waverly Antique Wax to colour in these letters that spell the word home. These were from Amazon. I know you can get these kind of things on Timu. And I am just going to hot glue them to my sign. And I'm just going to poke the holes through the other side with the scissors because they weren't big enough to get the twine through. I'm just hot gluing one end and then putting it through and deciding how long I want it to be and then I'm going to tie a knot at each side and trim off the excess. And then I burnt all the way here so the lighter. And this is how it turned out. Next, I'm going to use this box cutter, and it was a dollar forty-eight. And I'm using one of the wee signs and my cutting board and then I'm using my ruler from my exacto knife that I got and it didn't it actually cut through this wood pretty easy because I wanted a square I didn't want these end pieces so yeah it didn't get cut through them pretty easily I was shocked And then I'm just sanding down the sides. And I'm using this scrapbook paper again and I really like this pattern so I am going to use that. And I'm just measuring the piece that I want. And I'm just going to use the exacto knife for that. And that was me just marking off where I need to cut it and I just cut it along the ruler. There was a wee bit that wasn't cut properly. And now I'm just painting that sign with some black paint. And I'm just painting the parts that you're going to see. I just do that on both sides and around the edges. And 
and then I just give it a blast with the heat gun to dry it off. And I'm going to paint on some Mod Podge to glue down the scrapbook paper. I'm using one of these wee brushes from the start of the video again. And my camera cut out, so I'm sorry about that. But you saw me glue the scrapbook paper on the other projects. And I got this 100 piece of wooden letters for 2 dollars And they have a wee hole in them. I actually didn't look at what size they were when I ordered them. So they were a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. But I have these wee tassels. And I decided to put a tassel in each of the holes. So I'm just using a wee tiny pair of pliers to open up the ring and putting it through the hole and then just closing it back up again. And I do that for all the letters. I'm spelling out home, but you could spell out whatever you like. Oh, and off camera, I did end up painting the back of this sign black as well. So I'm just going to hot glue the H down first. And then the E. And then I'm going to try and evenly space the O and the M in between them. And then I have some macrame cord and I'm just going to put some on either side with some hot glue and just do it right along the edge of the scrapbook paper. And now I'm going to do the hanger and I'm just hot gluing one end and then the other end I made a knot and then I realised that I need to put it through the sign first and then put the beads on. So I did that, I just did six beads and then I just tied a knot the other end when I decided how long I wanted my hanger to be. And then just trimmed off the excess. And I think this turned out really cute. I really love that scrapbook paper. I think it's so pretty. For this DIY, I'm just using a baby food jar. If you have a better jar or bottle, then use that. But I'm just using what I had and I'm just painting the lid black. And some of the paint comes off, but that doesn't matter because it makes it look a bit old. And you'll see at the end some of the green shows through. So I just gave it one coat with some black acrylic paint. And then I got these stickers and they were 50 for two dollars and eight you have arsenic and death potion and they are all halloween themed which is halloween's coming up soon and they are all for labels for bottles and they are pretty cool actually so you get a bunch of different ones i'll just keep showing you a few of them Another arsenic. I was deciding there which arsenic I was going to use. And some crow jerky and pumpkin ale. Some bat tequila. 
And the reason I wanted it was for the Buffalo Bills skin lotion. <laughs> so I have to think of a good DIY so I can use that. So I'm just looking to see which is the going to be the front of this. And then I just stick it down. Maybe not a slanted bottle if you're going to do it. <laughs> but I suppose if it looked a wee bit crinkly at the side, it looks older. These are some glass pieces from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to fill it up. I'm not sure what arsenic looks like, but this is crystal arsenic. <laughs> And that's it. I just wanted to show you me using one of these stickers. And this is how it turned out. This is a glass from Dollar Tree. And then this pack of driftwood pieces was $8.98. And it said 0 0.5 gram on it. And this was how many pieces came in it. So how many you get probably vary because they are all different sizes. So I'm just picking the skinny ones to put on my vase first. And these ones are a lot bigger than the ones in Dollar Tree. And I know a lot of people can't find them. So these are a good alternative. So I'm just putting on a lot of hot glue and I am just gluing these all the way around. I'm just leaving them hanging off a wee bit at the top. You could do more if you wanted to. You could also cut these in half as well and then you would get more layers. And I just keep gluing them all the way around. It doesn't matter if they are not all the same size at the bottom because you're going to cover that up anyway. You can use a stronger glue if you want to. And then for your last couple of pieces, you can just check and see what will fit in the space. And then after that, just move on to the next row. And I found all the smaller pieces in the pack and I used them for the next row. I also had all my pieces facing the same way. You see the... It's smooth at the bottom and then it has the the slanted piece at the top. So I did that for all of them. And then for this row you had to had a couple of them had to see if they would fit first, if they were gonna stick down. And I will finish this part off camera. And I'm using that ribbon that I used earlier and I'm just going to glue that along the bottom just to finish it off. Uh, this is how it turned out. I just put a wee plant pot that I got from Ikea in it and it put perfect. This is a pack of embroidery hoops. There's five different sizes and they were $5.07. And this is what they look like. And I'm going to use the smallest one. So I'm just taking, unscrewing that uh, outside piece. And this is some material from Dollar Tree. 
and I am just going to put it, the other ring over it and then tighten it up. I tightened it as much as I could. And then I'm just using my Timu fabric scissors to cut off the excess. And then I just trimmed off as much as I could. So now I am going to put this star on. I got this star from Amazon. It was a, a pack of 50 or something. And it came with the twine and I'm just using that to hang it. I'm just deciding how long I want it to be because... I want it to sit in the middle. And of course I burned off the wee hairs. And then I hot glued it in place. I'm using this tassel fringe again and I am going to hot glue that around the outside. No, around the, well yeah, around the outside. And it's going to cover up the extra fabric that is showing through. You could do it on the other side if you wanted to and you could just glue the star down. But I wanted it to be hanging in it. So I just keep hot gluing that all the way around. I decided I wanted another layer. So I'm starting it, but I'm not starting it at the same place I did because it was a bit thin there. So I'm putting, starting it at the side. And then I'm just using some pieces that I had cut off and they were a wee bit too short for that DIY I did with the vase. I just hot glue that all the way around. And then I just trim it off at the end. And I'm just trimming off any wee bits that are sticking out. I'm not going to burn this one <laughs> with the lighter. I'm just going to leave it how it is. You could brush it out if you wanted to. I also didn't put a hanger on it because it's got that metal bit you can use as a hook on the back. This mini drill was $2.96 and I got this pack of eight balsa wood planks which were $5.09 and, and these are bigger than the ones in Dollar Tree. That first one was a bit warped. <laughs> so I'm going to drill a couple holes in this and see how this wee drill thing works. It didn't have any instructions but... um. I figured it out. You just kind of use it like a screwdriver. Yeah, it worked fine once I figured it out. <laughs> and it did go through the wood quite easily. So I made two holes. I was just measuring how far I wanted it in to try and make them the same on both sides. I'm just using a piece of twine, I'm just gluing one end and I'm going to put it through the sign 
and then tie a knot and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I burned the wee hairs off with a lighter. These driftwood sticks are $7.48 and they are £0.55 and they come in all different sizes and they're a lot bigger than the ones from Dollar Tree. So if you can't find the ones in Dollar Tree, you can get these ones. So I'm just uh, setting them out in size order from like big to small just to cover that um, wood plank. And then I'm just going to hot glue them down. Maybe you could use some wood glue, but they're not all completely straight because they're driftwood pieces. So I thought oh, um, hot glue would be best. This wee star and moons is are from Amazon and I'm using the serenity pad again and I am just going to use a glue stick to glue the star and moons to the scrapbook paper. This utility knife pen was 89 cents and it comes in different colours. It's for cutting out scrapbook stuff <laughs> so this is what it looks like and it worked fine I cut around these wooden shapes Halloween is coming up soon so I thought I would do a wee witchy DIY. So I just keep um, using the knife to cut it out. Uh, it comes with extra blades I forgot to say that. The blades are small kind of like the ones on the Cricut. It was easier just to cut the star out with the scissors though. And I'm just filing off any excess with a nail file. I got a better nail file than the last time and it worked really good. So this is how I'm going to position my pieces and then I am just going to 
hot glue them in place. I got rid of any um, glue strings and I decided I needed a bit more so I decided to add some more of the driftwood sticks on the two on the top and two on the bottom. And this is how it turned out. Just try not to have any hot glue showing like I do right there. These round wood slices were $4.28 and I have another one of those 12 by 6 canvases and these are quite thick and I'm just going to put them all around the outside of this canvas and then I'm going to glue them with some wood glue. Oh, I also have these half wooden beads. And then this home sign, which was from Dollar Tree. I won't show you me gluing them all down. And then I stained it with some early American wood stain. And then I'm going to use some Waverly plaster chalk paint. And I'm just going to dry brush over the home sign. Or well, the home, the home word in the sign. You can do this any colour or stain that you like. Um, I didn't put a hanger on it because I'm not planning on hanging it up. <laughs> and you could just sit this on a shelf if you don't put a hanger on it. You could also put the half beads on each of those circles if you wanted to. And this is how it turned out. So this is a wee 4x4 wooden canvas from Amazon and the wee drawer is from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use the inside piece and I'm going to glue the two pieces together with some wood glue. One yard of this embroidered ribbon was $2.11. This ribbon is so pretty and it comes in a couple of different colours. I'm going to start it at the back and just glue it down with some hot glue and what I should have done was centred the stars, well made sure that there was a star right in the centre of each side. So just think about that if you decide to make this or use this ribbon. I just glued all the way around and then I cut it off at the end. And I just made this a wee cute candle holder. And the last thing I got was this deep hole marker and it's red. It was $1.48. I'll just show you me using it. And uh, I got this because I think it will come in handy. Put, I have to put up shelves and stuff in my craft room. I need to mark where the holes are. Don't forget to go to the description box and download the app to get your $100 of coupons for free. Thanks for watching and I'll